I've always loved writing and I've always been very inquisitive and I thought so I'll just try this journalism thing because I just love to write and I kind of would do it for free if I could and I was always a bit irreverent when it came to like uh, having a little bit difficulty with authority and um, that seemed to lend itself well to going to journalism as well. first uh, full-time job was in Sault Ste. Marie at the Sioux Star. I had met the woman who would eventually be my wife uh, while I was in college. We didn't really want to live in Northern Ontario, we wanted to come back here and finally I was hired uh, at the Windsor Star in 1980. I was about as junior a reporter as you could possibly get. I was on the night shift, a general assignment, I would cover anything that came up that had to be covered from a school board meeting to a traffic accident, uh, anything that needed to be done at, at night. Uh, and that lasted about the first three years of my career. And after a few years of that, I was able to move on to the day shift and continue to work in general assignment. And as I moved along, I, I, I would see writers and columnists and photographers that I thought were really great and try and find something of their game that I could incorporate in my own. Everyone there seemed so well established and so sophisticated and so intelligent and they were such good writers. It was just soaking in like a sponge. You can come into a building with all these really interesting, very intelligent people and talk about the world as we knew it in that time, especially on a local, in a local focus, and have a great time kind of dissecting it and helping tell stories. And the things I'm really proud of are things that made a difference. You know, I, I once wrote a series of stories on uh, medical malpractice involving young children, and a couple of them resulted in some very terrible uh, injuries to these children. And I wrote a lot of stories about that, and I think it actually helped improve the, uh, you know, how these kids are being treated, and better, better equipment was brought in, and positive change came about. And the things that I'm really most proud of are the work that other people did, other bylines that were, that were published, in which I've been sort of in the background helping them out in the best way I knew how. When I became publisher in 2011, it dawned on me that those days of saying that, well, as a journalist, you have to, you know, that's to be a church and state situation where you can't get involved with, with causes, uh, maybe were kind of melting away from me, and I could then uh, go and get involved in things. And then I felt this is, this is crucial for me as a person, for the paper, and for the community, for people like myself who had access to this incredible voice, which is the Windsor Star, to start stepping up, you know, get involved, uh, put your hand up, start getting involved and enterprises. I mean, I think my first, the first board I sat on was the Chamber of Commerce board, and now I'm on the uh, Alzheimer's Society board, I'm on the uh, Film Festival board, and I'm on the Hotel Du Hospital Foundation board as well. So those are all interesting and diverse things that I just think uh, someone in my, in my position really has to step up to the plate and take their time and give back. And it's also so rewarding because I do find that community work and board work, especially the stuff in which you can actually be hands-on, is a great way to learn from people. I think life is all about continuing to learn and it never stops. And as as I meet these people and see what they're doing in their various enterprises and their various charities, I'm learning a lot from them and I'm getting really, uh, I'm getting really energized by seeing what they do. It's unusual for a journalist to not only practice in their hometown, but rise through the ranks and become an editor and a publisher in their hometown. Most journalists are nomads. They've left home and gone someplace else to practice journalism. Many have bounced around. I've been at the Windsor Star for about 98% of my career, and it's given me that rare opportunity to always be here with my family at our important occasions and to have them enjoy it with me. You really can't help but be humbled by having the recognition when you look at the people before me who have received it. And when I look at them, I say, how do I measure up to these people? You know, they're, they're such fantastic people who have received this before. So I'm choosing to cherish it and to think that it's, it's great validation for the work that not only I've done, but all of us here at the Star have done. It's, it's, it really is all about, uh, I've always had great people around me. And so in my view, they share this and we'll all you know, look back someday and say, uh, wasn't this a cool thing for us to all uh, mark as an occasion together.